These days, there are a lot of gangsters. It would be great if we were able to change those people to do the same as our team, so our country could be well developed, have stable security, no human trafficking, and no drugs. Young people should put a lot of effort into fostering our country's development because we're a developing country. Without young people, the country won't develop. Well, given that Cambodia is so young, almost two thirds of the population is under the age of 30. Um, it's, it's really important for the, for the future of the country that those people are actively engaged. We've done some, some research and, and talking to young people you can see that there's very limited knowledge about how the political structure, how the political system in Cambodia works. Uh, and there's also a real fear about getting involved, which is partly a legacy of, of the, the last 30 years in Cambodia. In the past, I was the kind of person that nobody liked, even my siblings. No one invited me for food when I visited their homes because I was someone who partied a lot, drank alcohol, caused violence during dance parties and stole monks' shoes and mats from the pagoda. Currently, I'm working with the NGO Youth Star in Krang Ta Chan Criminal Center. Here in Cambodia you also see um, a lot of positive examples and that's one thing we're really trying to do uh, as part of the, the media campaign we're about to launch uh, is, is really highlight those positive examples and, and present some, some role models to, to young people of, of what other young Cambodians are doing. At the moment there's, there's very little forum, there's very few forums or, or ways for, for that kind of information and those examples to get out there. So uh, I think that the UN has an important role to play in, in showcasing that. My activities now include painting pictures on the walls at the library. I've asked the old people here about each specific location in the Krang Ta Chan Criminal Center. Where was the killing field? the torture rooms, the kitchen, and the prison. I've also conducted outreach work by sharing a few thousand reels among our team to help a few poor families. We're partnering with the BBC World Service Trust uh, to produce a, a two-year multimedia civic education campaign. There are two important elections coming up in Cambodia. Uh, we have one in the middle of next year, in the middle of 2012 as well as a National Assembly election in the middle of 2013. Our aim is to reach uh, all Cambodian young people, uh, to encourage them to vote, and to give them some of the, some, some tools and skills to be more, more broadly engaged in, in civic life. So that means uh, being better equipped to express their opinions, better equipped to, to understand uh, the political system in, in Cambodia, um, as well as uh, having, having some knowledge and skills which allows them to, to organize activities at the community level. During our free time on Sundays, I and my 25 colleagues come here to exchange ideas to develop our community. I also conduct training for children to understand more about the Khmer Rouge and social morality. Cambodia is changing rapidly. As I said, it's a very young population. And in the next five years, as a, as a new generation comes of age, uh, I think we'll see radical transformations uh, in Cambodia across the board. If we can make a small contribution to that, and make sure the voices of this new generation uh, are expressed through the, the political system and uh, they're better equipped to make demands of their, their leaders and a new generation of leaders that will be coming through, uh, I think that's a, a really important contribution.